Hi, welcome back to TI UK. The kids went for a long journey the other day in the back of this and there was a bit of moaning and grumbling. No armrests, you see. So they've asked me to fit some armrests. Can you fit armrests onto the side of a VW rear clipping T5 seat? Let's find out. Stay tuned and I'll show you more. Okay, so the neighbours are being really noisy at the moment, but these are my aftermarket armrests. Got them off eBay, 30 quid. Now, basically meaning if I put the bracket in line with the seat here, and it sits like that, once it's folded back into the open position, in that position, it's gonna be there. So the question is, do you think that, I think that might be in the way? If we put it there, which is how I think it probably wants to go. That's going to be too much. And there isn't actually any more adjustment down. So I don't think there is quite enough adjustment. However, if you notice this plastic stubber here, there, I'll bring it in close for you. There's a little plastic groove that this thing fits into. So there'd be a possibility of clearancing this slightly so it goes further back that's a solid plastic we could very easily clearance that to give it more that or you could always clearance this with a file again to give it more but I think probably the easiest thing to do if we're looking at this see that there's a little V in it and you can see that that fits in there so we, we know no work at all just to take that out a little bit and allow that to go and that will give you then uh, adjustment. Adjustment. So if we set that there, horizontal, and we twist it, it's just under 90 degrees. So if we can get 90 degrees out of that, I, and then put that in line with that, I think I'll just about took out the way. So I think 90 degrees is where we want really to get that. But what I'm thinking is if I take this bolt out here this bolt through there just as like a first trial just to see how that fits as to whether that is the correct position because it'd be really good just to whip that bolt out tuck that in then we've only got to sort of put one bolt in haven't we let's see how that pans out okay so apologies for the pretty poor camera angle uh, what m10 Spline socket, three quarter inch ratchet. That's already quite loose. Possibly to allow Ooh. possibly to allow the seat to pivot up and down. Take this off. And see what we find. Um, I don't think the seat's going to go anywhere because it's uh, pivoted in three places. And you can see there's a little, we have a little rubber washer here that allows it to pivot. So that's quite important that needs to be saved and if I slide my fingers up here I can feel that there is like a flat structure here yeah so that's pressed metal there so what I'm going to do now is just try to I'm going to remove this uh, bolt here and open and remove this onto here okay uh. idiot builders across the road mm. So on these cheap armrests you just remove 
you remove this and that allows this to come out so I'm thinking if I pivot this chair down unclip it that will give me access but of course this bolt here is going to need to be it's going to need to be drilled out to a larger size to allow me to slide it over here this metal the snug fit I could always I suppose weld that to there that would be another solution wouldn't it just that'd be a pretty easy solution but to weld that to there but then this is only pressed metal so although it's quite strong or I could modify this to take this bolt which it does like that I think I think as I look at it the very best solution As I look at it, the very best solution is going to be to pivot this down, unclip the fabric, peel it back, and somehow bolt this in. I'm tempted, I was tempted to say you could probably let's just and what I'm going to do is just quickly just bodge this. I'm just gonna nip this up a little bit just to simulate the sort of armrest position when the oops, when the armrest is on and just to see if that's right or wrong okay so that's like that like that and do you know what that's pretty bang on that um, I mean you could adjust the armor scope couldn't you you just get so that it sits like that I think that the mounting position is pretty right and then if it tucks away and out of the way like that with modifying that I think we might have a winner let's take the upholstery off and see what's going on under there Right, so the upholstery clips together in exactly the same fashion as the front seat. Let's just a bit of a pull and you can get that off. We've got a rivet here and all the staples, just basically to secure the back in place. And then if I Put my feet in here, fingers in here. I think that this flat metal plate here is covered. So I'm thinking if I take these staples out, I do have a staple gun, I can put some more staples back in. And also I've got a rivet gun. So again, I can re-rivet it. But that will just allow me to uh, get that through the forward and get in a bit more. So 
a flat screwdriver and a pair of pliers. See if we can get these uh, No, coming out like that. Drilling out a rivet, take two. Much easier. Okay, yeah, so nice big flat. Bob, plenty of access up the back, and we've even got just here. We've got a nice flat recess. Okay, so after exposing a little bit more of this substructure, I'm sort of we've got a shape here that this fits into quite nicely, in fact as it is but the direction of the armrest in that point would be that way so I need to mock up this one just to work out my positions because I've got a funny feeling that's not going to be right for me so if I build up this is this this armrest I've got here is for the other side but it will allow me to just visualize. So if the seat's in the, let's put the seat chair up in back into the, oops. Put the chair back into the upright position. And we've, Fit like that, right? You can see pretty much we want this, this, be in line with this at the back, like that. And as you can see, or maybe you can't. So just here, there's a pressing, and obviously like that it fits in, but. That was twisted into that position. Sorry, that was twisted into that position like that. The armrest would be like that or like that. So that's no good. So I think what we need to do is get the wangle grinder on this. We take this bottom lug off and just pop it in there, see how it fits. Yeah? With the aim of getting the bracket as close to in line with that as possible. You can also just whiz the top lug off. So quite handy. The kit comes with some of these little bolts here. So you could clamp it. But my thoughts are if I get four bolts in here or rivets, possibly. Uh, the kit comes with these bigger bolts as well, but I could drill and tap that. But I'm thinking if I get the angle grinder, and take that bottom lug off, just this bit, and then we'll see, just this bit, I'm gonna cut off, and we'll see how that goes into there. So I've just cut this bottom section off. Feeling that just there in that position there, it just bolts straight in. So let's just see if we can turn this back a little bit more. Yeah, so that at that point. It's just going to bolt straight into there. So all I need to do is to drill some holes to bolt it into position. 
and I can get my fingers around this side to put the nuts on. That's worked out well, hasn't it? Okay. Three holes drilled, just the last one to make. Pop another bolt in and we're away. But as with everything in life, it's not quite so simple. My, my drills are a bit blunt, so I have to pilot it. And then size it. And of course, my chuck's a bit crap as well. mention the chuck's a bit crap. And it's not so it's a bolt and nut. Not too sure where these are from. They're probably from somewhere else in the van. I think they're from the bulkhead when I removed that. I think I saved them thinking, oh they'll come in handy. And oh they have not they? So all it is now is to get spine socket and uh, a 10 mil Right, next we've got to get the foam back on, I'm simply just going to notch the foam. Make sure it fits around the peg. Then we've just got to get our Upholstery back on into position, and I think once I've stretched this back, I'm then going to cut around it, and then that will make it perfect. I'm going to pivot back down and clip the bottom. I've got the bulbous piece sticking out, so I'm just going to Next, I'm going to 
put the side panel back on. The plastic trim is still there on the inside of that one, it hasn't fallen away. And ten again. You just check it pivots up and down after I tighten this back up. And next, it's the armrest. It goes on like that. And then key goes in there. up and I don't believe any modifications are required it does hit there but can't have everything it does hit here on my bed but you can't have everything in life do you know what I think the kids will be happy with that <coughs> and you know what I'm pretty happy with that what do you think I won't video the other side I just got to get on and do it I might have to check the chair out to do it though but to be honest with you I'm quite pleased with that so if you've liked this video and you found it useful please give us a thumbs up um, obviously, as you can tell, I'm not a professional, so I take everything I do with a pinch of salt. But I'm quite happy with how that's turned out. And I think that that is definitely going to be uh, an improvement. So I've been TI UK. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more content. See you soon.